Hello and welcome to VNN's This Month in Oklahoma, August edition. I'm Brittany Harlow. It was back to school for many districts across the state, and a lot of them had to close down or quarantine right afterward. That's because the COVID-19 pandemic is still happening here in Oklahoma, a continued stream of positive cases and deaths with no end in sight. And what's a pandemic without controversy? A White House Coronavirus Task Force document classifying Oklahoma a COVID-19 red zone is now public after being leaked and published by the Center for Public Integrity. Its information Governor Kevin Stitt decided not to share with the state, like tougher measures to combat the spread of coronavirus, despite the task force's coordinator, Dr. Deborah Burks, meeting with Stitt and other officials in Tulsa the day after the report came out. The media was not permitted to attend their meeting. Meanwhile, teachers shouldering a heavier burden, teaching children while trying to protect them. VNN joined the Oklahoma Media Center this month, a new statewide reporting collaborative that focuses on K-12 education amidst the pandemic. Our first story with the OMC tells of how life has changed for one special education teacher in particular while taking an in-depth look at how Oklahomans are working together to fulfill federal and state requirements. Another VNN in-depth investigation was released this month, part two in our two-part series, America's Secret Massacre, Media Silence. In it, we discussed the media factors that contributed to the Tulsa race massacre remaining a secret to much of the country until recently. Speaking of Tulsa, we had some election results this month. Mayor G.T. Bynum was re-elected for another term, beating out seven challengers. His toughest community activist, Gregory C. Robinson II, claiming nearly 30% of the votes to Bynum's roughly 52%. The right to hit the polls afforded to women 100 years ago this month. Oklahoma women on both sides of the aisle took the time to honor the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment the Status of Women Commission held a press conference to commemorate the anniversary. Oklahoma Attorney General Mike Hunter put out an FAQ regarding the recent McGirt v. Oklahoma ruling. The landmark United States Supreme Court case ruled that much of the eastern portion of the state of Oklahoma is Native American land. Thus, crimes committed by and against Native Americans cannot be prosecuted by the state. 25-year-old Tanner Washington is one of the latest to cite the ruling as cause for case dismissal. Washington is accused of murder in the first degree with a premeditated design following teen Faith Lindsay's disappearance, which sparked a statewide search last year. Investigators later determined she was dead, though her body has yet to be found. Washington remains in the Pontotoc County Jail. There was good news out of Pontotoc County this month as hundreds gathered for a Back the Blue March to support local law enforcement. And more good news, Oklahoma is now considered in the top 10 for bridges. That's according to the latest information from the Federal Highway Administration. Officials said the state was as low as 49th place back in 2004. So much happening in Oklahoma right now. Download VNN's free plugin app for new stories daily. It's free to download for both iOS and Android. You can also head to verifiednews.network and sign up for our free weekly digest. All facts, no opinion or bias, news and weather. Next time I see you, it'll be fall. Until then, I'm VNN's Brittany Harlow.